Here they are, Yuji on the left and Francois on the right. Forty feet from the root's start, they climb the first crux across an overhanging traverse midway through the route. Francois makes a long cross, turns toward the audience to minimize his swing coming out of it, and goes immediately into a figure four to economize strength for the long reach that follows. Yuji misses Francois's crossover and climbs back and forth before opting for a slower sequence involving a strenuous match. This match was the downfall of competitors like Didier Rabutu earlier in the competition. At the end of the traverse are holds offering a chance at recomposure before the honeycomb wall, stalactite roof, and final headwall ahead. Since Francois finishes the traverse faster, we'll freeze him here and wait for Yuji to catch up. After battling with the match, Yuji struggles to reset his left hand and dinos the long reach. Iron crossed between the two holds, he falls onto his right hand. Later, he clips from a less efficient position before finding the heel hook rest that Francois assumed immediately. Note that Yuji spent an extra minute and 20 seconds on the strenuous overhanging traverse. Watching Francois, one thing becomes clear. He moves quickly, decisively, and makes the fewest movement errors. And climbing, the sum defect of tiny movement mistakes or inefficiencies adds up fast. The best climber is not necessarily stronger than the rest. He's the one who makes the fewest movement errors. It's the choice of moves and positions and the speed with which they're chosen that separate climbers. It nearly always feels like you fall off because your fingers open or you can't hold the hold. Believing it at that, however, misses the essence of climbing. Whether your fingers open or not depends on how you move and how efficiently you've gotten to where you are on a route. Climbing is a movement-centered sport. 